Pull it out, Here, Chris. Go. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Where more for our hole is. A huge place. Use a bigger screwdriver. And, uh, all this is going to have to be replaced. Mm -hmm. What's going on, YouTube family? My name is Hendy, welcome to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, you know the drill. Please like, comment, subscribe, cause we're on the road guys to 50,000 subscribers. We just hit 25,000, so thank you guys. I love you all. But for anybody just new, just tuning in, my name is Hendy, I'm an electrician in New Jersey and I am in a family owned electrician business. We are electrical contractors. I work with my family, my pops, my brother. I have a whole family that is electricians. I know guys, it's been a while since I posted but we got a service call. Customer called saying that they want a 200 amp service installed. And we got the whole family. I come watch this video. But before we get in this video, guys, we got a sponsor, a quick sponsor from Racketeers.com. Racketeers, they do specialty electrical tools. We don't do any of that plumber, you know, the HVAC stuff. So if you're an electrician and you're looking for tools and you want a discount code, just use code HENDY10 and you'll get a discount right in your cart straight away. No bull crap. This is a great one. I put a lot of effort into this video. So hope you guys enjoy. Hendy the Sparky, 200 amp service call. Bang! It's not even a triplex. Look how old that is. Hello. Hi, how are you? This is the room with all the disconnects I saw. All right, guys, so we just got to the customer's house. Look how many disconnects you see. All right, so she lives on a farm from the 1960s. And as you can see, you can just tell by this equipment that this needed to be replaced. All these disconnects can be replaced okay, with a so circuit yeah, so breaker. We're have the output. So now, instead, like, these are she wanted a one huge M's, 200 amp panel, 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 you know, here. for all these disconnects. Right, so, this, so that's this what we're going to do. Two, we're going to remove all these disconnects and we're going to install a 200 amp panel for breakers yeah. for all the disconnects. Right. Absolutely. Got it. Yeah. And then these are just small individual disconnects, right? Mm -hmm. So this one looks off. Here's a UF cable. Huge place. And it's got a fuse box up there. Want three feet coming out of the service entrance, Ed. Okay, guys, so this is me and my pops. Anytime you install a 200 amp service that is overhead, the customer had an overhead service, you need to install a weather head and prep the service cable. So here my pops is showing me how to prep the service cable. So watch and listen. He's a master electrician with over 30 years of experience. 36. Yep, All somewhere right. around there. Yep. You don't have to be exact, but just because you're new, you take your knife and go right along the center of it. Yep. Nice and light. You're just scoring that thin jacket on that service entrance. Spiral that, you get it completely off. Always want a clean work area. See, I'll hold this, pick up those little tails. Right. Nothing worse than having tools and materials all laying around. Put everything right in there as you're going. I'm gonna unwind it. Oh, okay. You can see how you can make a conductor. Why do they do it like that? Why is it not just a third conductor? Because it's actually using it to protect the wire. This is like an armored jacket around that plastic jacket. Oh yeah, that makes right? sense. Take your hand here and start kind of bending it out and making a wire out of it, right? Got it. Yeah, that's it. Give it a little spin with the channel lock. Grab it right on the end here. Let go of it with this hand. Now spin it around. With this? Yeah, that's it. Nice. Oh, I see. Okay, now it's nice and tight. Yeah, good. Now this little part you can cut off. Now, let's talk about the weather head. Take in a screwdriver and you're going to pry this carefully. It's just press fit right here. Okay? Got it. So this you can lead to the side. Now you're going to slide all three conductors. Oh, yep, now just slide it all the way up. Got it. Okay. Now you want to let go of this. You want to put that over top of the clamp. See how it's coming out? Oh, I see. I see. Okay, because now the clamp will grab the insulated jacket. And now these guys, one at a time, get folded down. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now you tighten up that clamp. Got it. I have my flathead. You got to learn to use a bigger screwdriver. And that's why the wire is nice and straight now. So when you put that SCU up, you got it nice and straight. Mm -hmm. And this is what you should be doing as an apprentice every time you do a service. Right? Prep, it, prep it like this? this yeah. Thing? You could have done that at the shop. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or when you, as soon as you get here, I snap the head on. There you go. That's my first weather head. Really? Yeah. You could. You yeah. could. I'm going to feed it through the gutter now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pull it out, Here, Chris. Go, let me go up there. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Are you that weak? I thought you were strong. Now. Yeah. From back, up, Chris, to me. Round to you. Now we need some scratch. Okay. Perfect. Wrap it up. Okay. Start from the top or the bottom first. 
You can strap it right here. Okay. Hi. Uh -huh. One, two, three straps more. Now what you want to do is bend that and make another bend right into the center. You need to come down right here, right? Yep. So we can either reuse this hole with our meter. What's up there, Handy to Sparky? What up? Strapping in the service right now? Strapping it in. I got a 4 uh, SCU cable. I'm going along and we're installing a meter with a disconnect combo. Uh-huh. Anywhere. But meter base is gonna go here, right? Yeah, but then you're gonna bend it down. So move, put the strap maybe closer to that wire. Right here, I'm gonna put it yeah. right here. If we use conduit, then you would need a ground bushing, the concentric knockout. Well, you would have conduit with a, a ground wire and old school stuff. Yeah, you couldn't use a concentric knockout. All right. You got to bend it up as you do it, right? Yeah. Uh, nice. Push up. That's it. Fine. Straighten it out. Make sure you're in the right spot. You tighten this up at the end, right? But before mm -hmm. we do that, now we want to make our mark where our hole is. Okay. Terminate it before it rains. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna grab it and make it nice tight. So keep spinning. Push this wire in and all the way back. Okay. And then you're gonna come across like this. I'm gonna basically cut it right here. Service loop. Not necessarily a service loop, it's just workmanlike. Now you gotta get the no locks. Just paint both wires. Muscle it in. Okay. Hey, Dad, what are you doing right now? Your job. Well, this is an emergency disconnect that's now required by the NEC. So we used to not have to do this, but we used to just have a meter pan outside. But now they want to disconnect. So we have two options. We could use a main lug only panel inside, mm -hmm. and we could run a four wire SCR cable, and this being our main breaker. Or we can designate this as just an emergency disconnect and still use our SEU cable because we have a main breaker on the inside. Got so, it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this wire into the lug and mark where I gotta strip it to. So instead of using a razor knife when you're installing a service, you can get a Milwaukee cable stripper and it's nice and easy. You just put it right in the wire. This is 4 raw aluminum yep. and you just press the trigger. Just like that. Service. Service going up. 4 raw SEU. All right, guys, so we got our meter and our service cable installed. Now, inside, we're going to show you guys this is where the panel's located. You can see my dad and my, and my brother are working on it right now. So, uh, right now, I'm just twerking my connections. There's a lot of wires, guys, but we got all the wires now into the main <laughs> panel. So, all those disconnects were removed. Now, put in one panel with all breakers. So, Dad, any tips on bugging a service? One wire at a time. Okay. Um, for a beginner, or like, is this for a beginner electrician? Well, residential is a uh, beginner electrician, right? So, one wire at a time. Okay. Obviously, this you'll never probably run against. This is something totally unique. Okay. And uh, all this is going to have to be replaced mm -hmm. once we get our inspection. So, this is something totally different. Yeah. Normally, you would use a different type of bug, could be a more permanent bug. But since this is going to be changed, I mean, I put that tape on there because the wire was just so out of shape right so i push that in all the way my allen's out now as long as i don't create a circle mm -hmm. i don't create a loop a current circle yeah I'm holding on it's insulated here right got my hand holding the wire mm -hmm. i got nothing in the way also this thing ooh, closed then i'll tape it up now here i like to use a rubber tape okay good scotch 33 the only one you don't have to tape is the... The neutral. Yeah, the neutral you don't have to tape. It's open, open conductor. All right, so my pop's got the service bug, the two hots, and the neutral. Now, here's my brother, Ken. He was doing 
um, we had another project in, for the customer. He was replacing a sub panel. And uh, here, I just put it on a time lapse. And just to show you guys the amount of work that is required when, you know, replacing panels, whether it's a main panel or a sub panel, you know, um, a lot of work goes in it, into it. So I'm showing you guys, uh, that's me, guys. I'm actually just taking out the knockouts for the panel, for the breakers. You know, I'm an apprentice, so... And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to continue and show you guys more work. All right, guys, today we're installing ground rods. I'm going to show you guys how to install a ground rod, also known as electrode, in the fastest and the easiest way possible. All right, so we're currently installing a new 200 amp service. Here are my two ground rods. It doesn't matter the color. They're all the same thing. Now I'm going to stick my rod into the ground, just like this. All right, so I got my ground rod in. Here's a core drill and I got a ground rod bit on it. Make sure you use headphones and ear protection because it gets loud. And anytime you're installing a new 200 amp service, guys, you gotta install two ground rods. The second ground rod needs to be six feet apart. If it's under six feet, it's gonna fail inspection. All right, so we got our ground rods installed, guys. The first ground rod right here, I put an acorn on, so it's being fed. We're burying the wire. Anytime you install a 200 amp service, you need to add an inner system bond. We have our number six ground wire. See guys, I made a trail to the second ground rod. And boom, guys, see that? Ground rods installed. Ow, ground rods. All right, guys, here's the final product. Here's the meter with the disconnect combo. Here's the main panel with the breakers. And boom, guys, we are all finished. All right, guys, that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoy that one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think because at the end of the day, guys, you are my audience. I want to show you guys content that you guys want to see. So if you guys want to see more service calls, if you want to see more tutorials, whether it's me my, with my pops, anything in general, electrical-wise, if you want advice, knowledge about the trades or anything, lifelong advice, advice just leave a comment down below because i read all my comments but uh yeah guys uh handy to sparky we are trying to upload once a week we're trying to get more consistent guys you know with the long form content but um handy to sparky see you in the next one peace